The family of a deported veteran welcoming him back home tonight. His family says it's not the kind of homecoming any of them wanted. Channel 5's Valerie Gonzalez explains. For years, Army veteran Carlos Torres waged a silent legal war. On Saturday, he lost that battle. His family hopes other deported veterans won't suffer his fate. Solemn faces and silent soldiers greeted Army veteran Carlos Torres. This was not the homecoming any of them wanted for the man some called father. I mean, I've always seen my dad as Superman. Others called brother. He was strong. He was strong. Torres lived his last nearly 20 years in Reynosa. At 10 months old, his parents crossed him into the U.S. illegally. Through Reynosa. Years later, he was deported back. Mm -hmm. Ironic. Torres volunteered during the Vietnam draft to serve in the Army. A mistake in his later years led him to serve four years in prison. Torres was arrested on drug-related charges alongside an old friend. His son recalls that was one of Torres's greatest regrets. My dad was at the wrong place at the wrong time with him. The United States deported him around 2001, his family says. Torres lived in Reynosa working as a security guard. He put in long hours and received abbreviated paychecks. He would always be depressed or, you know, angry about certain things that it's not being right or this is why I'm falling back and you know we'd always try to catch him. On Saturday he went to a company Christmas party. He suffered a fatal heart attack that left his family speechless. Uh, it's unexplainable you know. This military family relied on Torres during the last two family deaths. He always knew what to say to console his sister. Today there's only silence. Who's gonna comfort me today? She hopes her brother's death could spur a change in the law and bring deported veterans back to the U.S. alive. Congressman Gonzalez was working with Torres to help bring him back home. Gonzalez introduced the Repatriate Our Patriots bill in May, but it failed to gain enough traction. He stated he will not be giving up on working to revise that law. In the studio, Valerie Gonzalez, Channel 5 News at 6. Again, Torres died of a sudden heart attack. His family said the death certificate cited natural causes. We found out there is medical care for veterans who are deported. This is a Channel 5 News Extra. We spoke with Hector Barajas, the founder of the Deported Veterans Support House. It's an organization that provides help for veterans living outside the U.S. According to Barajas, they have more than 400 members. Barajas said government agencies are not reaching out to inform them that they can apply for medical assistance. Mr. Mr. Torres missed out all these years that he's been deported. He missed out on free health care that could have kept him alive maybe even longer, you know. This organization will help veterans file for VA benefits. If they qualify, they could receive assistance. A statement sent by VA spokesperson Luis Losa mentioned the foreign medical program, which helps vets already enrolled with the VA health care system. The VA may also authorize necessary foreign medical service for any condition for a vet participating in the vocational rehabilitation program. They also mentioned their educational and burial benefits. Their full statement and the associated web links attached to this story on our website after the newscast.